Hello. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh. Hello, everybody. It's I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome, and welcome to, uh, welcome back to Pizza Tower. Yeah, it officially happened. The noise update has uh, officially came out. Uh, so this, so I, so this is going to be the a start of a brand new uh, style of content on my channel. It's still Let's Play related, but it's called the Let's Play Again. Essentially, I replay a game I've already let's played, but there's something different about it. So in the case with uh, Pizza Tower, it's the noise update. Uh, now there's two different modes I can do with the noise update. I can do regular noise or a secret mode called swap mode, uh, which is unlocked. Uh, so I'll show where you have to unlock it at when I, I'm just gonna do a regular noise playthrough. I might do a swap, uh, I might do swap mode with someone as like a cooper cooperative thing. But for now, let's just, let's just, let's just stick with the, with just the good old regular noise. Now, the main, now the main shtick, now the main shtick with, uh, with this let's play is that I have to do lap two in every single level, regardless if I S rank or not. Now, before, now before I start doing the tutorial, the noise it works a lot differently compared to uh, Pepino. First thing first, he's floatier and faster than Pepino. Secondly, he can super jump without needing speed. Uh, instead of instead of the shoulder bashing that Pepino has, he has that. Uh, his grab his grab dash remains the same. If you hold down while uh, while dashing, you know, normally you'll do a dive. For for the noise, he does a little drill thing here. Uh, instead of climbing up walls, he does a little, uh, wall jump. And then, and then I think the final, most important thing I should mention, you can use the Noid Crusher, uh, midair by holding up and then pressing A. It, it essentially works like Gustavo's double jump. Anyway, with that being said, let's just go through the tutorial. Yeah, so I will say this much. The noise is definitely a really fun character. Uh, but he's he can be hard to control. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, the, the noise tends to hold his momentum. Uh, when you're doing like his drill stuff or his wall bounce. So hence why hence why he's faster than Peppino. Because you don't have to you don't have to re speed up again. Now one, of, now one of the key differences with, uh, with this update is that uh, Jump Gunner has a new theme. For those of you who own the soundtrack, you might actually recognize this theme. This is <laughs> this is the noises uh, Jam Pack Radical Anthem. I think is what the full name is. Yeah. So like I could like because like I knew the noise update was definitely coming uh, at some point. And, and as, as and as the let's play goes on, I'll I'll show off some more uh, key differences with the noise. Because he has a lot of them. Oh, hold on, I need to, I need to do the secret. It'll be it'll be it'll be neat if I can do uh, if I can get a P rank on the very first level. Then again, it's John Gutter, so it's not so it's not too difficult. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the noise's uppercut actually goes farther than Pepino's. However, when you do the uppercut, you can't really cancel out of it. So, so if you do it, you're, you kind of have to stay committed to doing it. Pepino's uh, air thing. You cannot, uh, you cannot kill enemies when you do the, uh, the air side dash thing. Anyway, now it's pizza time. Uh, the noise actually has its own, 
so he has actually he actually has two unique uh, escape themes. Ah, oh, damn it! All right, no fee rank. Oh well, not a big deal. I'll still go for the end rank. Bye. Now, Junk Butter remains mostly the same, but some levels do actually have their actually do have their key differences. Uh, noise, get down the uh, the fucking box, please. Thank you. Ah, uh, bullshit, I, I hit the taunt button. Die. Then let's go for lap two. Now, I will say, the lap two, uh... Uh, the music for Lap 2 kind of reminds me uh, a lot about, uh, so there's a old uh, song that Classy Juno made called uh, Pesto Anchovy. It was originally supposed to be the Noises Escape theme, and it's essentially a cover, it's a cover of Moonlight Sonata, uh, specifically the third movement, specifically the third movement. Uh, Classy Juno did not like it because it wasn't, you know, original. Oh yeah, the noise still has his, you know, ground pound, like a Pino. But 9 times out of 10, you're going to be using the, uh... You're going to be using the, uh... Oh, we should, we should, probably, I should probably start getting, I should probably start moving. <laughs> Fuck you, pizza head! Or pizza face! Other than that, not too shabby. Would have preferred the uh, P rank, but you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, I will say these first few levels are pretty brutal for the noise, B mainly because he cannot uh, he cannot uh, uh, wall climb. This makes uh... Uh, it, it especially makes the wall climbing in. Uh... In uh, what do you call it? Bloodsauce Dungeon. Because, like, Bloodsauce Dungeon is. You know what? I'll explain more of it when we get there. Alright, so Noise's knife form is slightly different. In the fact, every time you bump into a wall, the noise just moves the other direction. Yeah, that's right. The noise's transformations are different. And I, I think in I think every time you bump. You also go a lot faster. I'm probably gonna lose the P rank. Yeah, I'm out. Not a big deal. There's the music change. Yeah, 
Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking too much, because I kind of did both my a lot, a lot of my pizza tower knowledge in the first let's play. Uh, you know what? I will say this. Uh, the noise, the uh, moveset was always been a mystery. Because, like, right now he plays similar to Peppino, and I think that's just the best way to implement him as a playable character in this game. Just because with the way the levels lay out, but, but when the noise originally became a character, he had, like, there's, there's like, two different iterations of the noise's moveset. There's one where he had a pogo stick, like, on the, on the, if, for those of you who play the game, his, uh, his false fight, uh, when you're playing as Peppino, uh, the noise uses, uses a pogo stick as one of his attacks. Yeah, so that, so, the sprites for those were reused. Those sprites were reused, uh, from, like, one of the noise's original movesets. Uh, so, pro tip, once you enter pizza time, immediately ground pound, because the noise can, because, because of the noise bouncing around when you hit the wall, it, it will actually slow you down. I pressed up, jackass. Uh, by the way, doing the drill can automatically make you go into Mach 3, so definitely use that to your advantage. Let's just get the third secret. Oh yeah, fun fact. So uh, the noise is freak dancing is definitely a reference to SpongeBob for the uh, bring it around. Now. Yep, and then obviously, as you noticed, uh, the noise does not have Gustavo or uh, or uh, Mr. Stick to show up to to help give you directions on escaping. Instead, you have Noisette and uh, and a, and a Noisy. You guys remember the Noisy, right? Uh, he was an integral part of the noises uh, ball fight. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I went that way. Yeah, and also definitely use the uh, the noise pressure to your advantage as well, because because it can definitely come in handy. Uh, if you miss like a jump or something. Anyway, I'm just I'm just gonna try and focus on getting out of here since we have under a minute. Yeah, if I die to if I die to a piece of fate, then then I'll just then I'll just redo the level to where to where you know I actually get the S rank. Well, not well, not even the S rank, just completing the second lap. There we go. Not quite an S rank because, but I'm still taking the A rank because the criteria I mentioned at the beginning of the episode is I have to complete two laps in the level. And then, it, as you notice right there, uh, Noise Zed replaces Mr. Stick in this. Yeah, there's a lot for me to explain, uh... But yeah, so... Doing, doing two laps at the noise is a bit more di tricky. Just, and that, sh and that just has to do with the fact that the noise... is faster and floatier than Peppino. So a lot of your me muscle memory... would just not be there. 
couple couple by the fact that uh, the noise is uh, controls. When you uh, run into a wall, you can't also get wonky since he doesn't walk line. Yes. Obviously, I've been playing him ever since uh, ever since the update came out, so I'm a bit used to his uh, shtick by now. Yeah, one thing I'm disappointed they removed uh, once I find an enemy. Also, bomb transformation. You can no longer throw bombs. You have to actually run run into the stupid rat to detonate the bomb. Anyway, they... So, the noise is original... Uh, how did you not get hit? Well, yeah, the the noise is original. Uh, the, the noise is original, uh, like like power driver animation, and that's what I'm calling it because that's what Pepino does normally. But uh, uh, his, his original uh, sprite animation for that is. He basically gains the afro, wears a uh, basketball outfit, and just basically slam dunks the anime. Anyway, I'm, def I'm probably not going to be ranked for this level because uh, this is when the escape sequences get kind of tricky with the noise just because of his whole uh, move kit. We got the run, so we might as well uh, we might as well grab the item here while while we still can. Not today, pal. Anyway, when the noise goes uh, super mock B, he, he he goes into uh, he goes a rocket. Also, when you get a uh, combo of 50 or higher, the noise just kind of starts. Up, oh, yep, there we go. I lost the, uh, the, I lost the P rank. Not a big deal. Anyway, let's just get, let's get to this last final, uh, secret here. This part right here, you, you, you can just kind of skip it. All right, this is where things get tricky here. Okay, got through that the, the first time, which is good because this is a because this is a huge potential to be getting a time loss. And when I mean time loss, like obviously I'm not referring to it as like a speed run, rather time loss as uh, losing time to try and do the second lap. Because the more time you have for lap two, the better, as you don't have to worry about. Uh, <clears> the <throat> Instantly losing your run to piece of face. And oh that definitely that definitely worked out. Let's just skip all that again. Okay, there we go. I swear I'm good at this game. I swear. Yeah, 
and that's what happens. Uh, that's that's why this that's why this section of the uh, the escape sequence is become a doozy. I have left, I have under, I have just about under a minute to get out of here. So fun fact, the, uh, the, the point threshold for, uh, Pizza Skate's S rank is 2,000. Okay, we get out of here perfectly fine. Just like that, I'm feeling pretty good. All that's gonna go away. Uh... You know what? We should probably change our outfit. So, so this color here is boys, and I'm unlocked by flying with the crusher, jump and side spin. What they mean is that's that's uh, that's what they mean. Yeah, yeah, you can just kind of fly. Yeah, Roy's was just killing four enemies with uh, in a row with a tornado attack. Reverse, this one's funny. Uh, locked by a completing John Gutter with uh, with a D rank under four minutes. But let's stick with the reverse for now. Oh, oh, I love that NES uh, oh, sprite. How dare! Yeah, so the reason why this level is a bit more difficult as the noise is just due to the fact that this is a more vertical level. Pepino works perfectly fine with this because he can uh, wall climb. Or, and wall climb. The noise, on the other hand, he can't. So, yeah. So that's kind of the main... So, that's kind of the main reason why he can super jump without needing speed. Because, again, I, I mentioned earlier in this, uh, in this episode... Mentioned earlier in this episode. Uh, er earlier in the episode, you can uh, super jump without, you know, needing speed. Yeah, this is, yeah, this level is the main reason why you can do that. Just because of spots like there, because so explain how the noises wall clean works. Eventually, you just start going up when you when you when you're constantly bouncing off the wall. So that's kind of so that's kind of the main reason why uh, that exists. Easy peasy. Yeah, so if it's any level that I might get caught by Pizza Face with, it'll be this level. Just like the previous level, we're just gonna get the uh, treasure right away. Because the less time we waste in uh, pizza time, uh, the better.
Yeah, that. Yeah, that that secret is just really brutal, especially if you're going for P rank. Also, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but the little ghost right there in the combo thing, he turns purple if you're if you're on on if, if you're on route for P rank. Oh yeah, then Noises has his own picture as far as you hurt him too many, or when you hurt him too many times. Uh, that's why this works, I should probably, I should probably go now. Oh shit! I didn't think I, I didn't think I would have enough speed to be able to reach that far. And then stuff like that is why the ring in this level of noise is probably to be. The most difficult challenge known to mankind. Damn it! We think high! Alright, what's an ideal time left, but we gotta go for it. I'm not talking, I'm just trying to focus. No, I probably should have done the uh, the flying trick. that happened already I'm gonna I'm gonna jump gun real quick okay you guys have no fucking clue how long this took me to do I, and I still only got it at a rank wow. it is ridiculous like I lost count of like in terms of the amount of attempts I took I lost track after five and here's the thing, in my opinion, out of all the levels that you can play as in the noise in this game, Plus Us Dodge Dungeon is the worst. And it's the fourth level of Floor 1. And the only reason why I say that is because Plus Us Dungeon works well as a beginner, as like a Floor 1 level for Peppino. Because, because it focuses on Peppino's like vertical like movement ability. Like ability of being able to climb walls. The noise can't do that. 
So it's a lot more difficult for the noise. Like, you have to be, like, a god at this game if you want to get a P rank on this. Like, like my friend, like, my friend who pretty much P ranked every single level in this game, he, uh, he actually struggled to S rank this while, while playing as a noise. That's how fucking difficult it is. Normally, an S rank would be, would be pretty easy. Not for Bloodsus Dungeon. Anyway, we completed after some time, completed all the levels in floor one. So why don't we wear this outfit and fight our first boss? Good old Pepper Man. the animations are different. So the noise actually throws bombs during boss fights. Yeah, so this is good in one aspect because that means you can just hit you just hit the uh, enemy from far away. However, the outfit I'm wearing you unlock for beating this boss without using any bombs. Now, I will explain a, a, the easy, a very easy way to do this later. Game? What made you think I wanted the super jump there? Well, no P rank for this. Unfortunately. Unfortunate, but uh, game just game decided to just not uh, read my inputs correctly, and that and that's the other and that's the other thing about Blood Cells Dungeon. Like, yeah, they allowed you to super the noise can super jump what without needing any momentum, but I more often than not I find myself accidentally super jumping when I don't need to. So like, so to me, I just feel like that the being able to super jump with the without needing any uh, momentum is more of an afterthought than a uh, than making it a feature of uh, as a part of uh, the noises kit. Other thing, having the bomb can actually finish off the boss really fast because normally you would have to chase Pepperman around. So yeah, that's that's just so that's just kind of my uh, opinion with the whole with just bless us dungeon and and this whole thing all together. But yeah, like I said, this outfit you unlock by defeating Pepperman without wasting the bomb. And there's one for every single uh, boss as well. Uh, well, considering our next level is Oragano. Wait, did I not get the outfit yet? Oh, I don't have it yet. Uh, oh shit. Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, this outfit's funny. Unlocked by beating the time you're Pepino file. So basically, just beat the so just beat the game as soon as possible. Then you're Pepino file. Then you'll win. Uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, a lot of the noises outfits are funny. And if you got any during the Halloween update, which is something I did not cover because why would I? You can, uh... Well, you can just, you know, take a look. Alrighty. I don't know how bad this is gonna go. 
Because, I don't know, considering uh, Blood Bowl's Dungeons just kind of aggravated me. This level is a bit more, uh, it's a bit more, it's, a be it's better for the noise that it's more horizontally linear than, uh, than, than, uh, vertically. Because the noise can definitely do horizontal per perfectly. And I, I, and honestly, overall, I think that's just a whole trade-off with, with the noise of Peppino. If you play as Peppino, you can... He's easier to like he's he's basically Mario in that aspect where it's like he's easy to control. Ah, I, I don't get that. Then again, it's not like I'm going. Then again. It's not like I'm going for P-Rings anyway. Not especially when that happens. Anyway, here's the noise of sexual information. Uh, Firemouth, uh, Troy. It, it works the same as Peppino, only he's uh, a bit more floatier. Like, you can tell how floaty he is. Like, you stay in the air for, like, way longer compared to Peppino. You still have your you still have your air dash and everything. Now there is an outfit you can unlock in this level, and it involves you getting kicked in the fucking face by every single cow in this level. Yeah, so I might try and go for that, but you do have to get hit by the cows in the secret as well. Well, well, it wasn't like I was getting a uh, team rank anyway. some time to kill, so I might as well get kicked in the face by every single cow. And I still have yet to get that achievement to avoid every single cow. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. No, I need to get, I need to get a hit by, I need to get hit by that one. The very last secret in this level, you do need to get hit by a single cow in that one. Jesus. 
Come down there. Nope. But there's the cashier, man. Okay, yeah, I definitely got hit by every single cow here. Cow right there. Cow right there. Escape sequence. Stuff like this is why uh, this, look, this, this level might also be kind of close. Also, the, you cannot go down the ladders with these tornadoes, so so it is it is kind of a it is annoying in that aspect. Oh, I'm going to go with noise. Yeah, maybe maybe I might have to abandon uh, trying to get. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to abandon trying to get every single, uh, get hit by every single cow. Uh, just so I can, uh, make sure I can do the second lap. I think flying there might actually kind of be useful. Also, also because of because of the noise and movement, I'm actually very curious to see how speed runs. Uh, the, I'm actually very curious to see how the how speed runs of this works. Plenty of time. Oh yeah, that's that that's definitely going uh Oh yeah, that's that definitely is a lot more effective. I would probably be concerned about doing a second lap for would be war in uh, floor five. Let's see. Fortunately, I think that's a. I think that. I think we're out of time for right now. So, with that. So, with. Everything that's just happened in this episode. If you enjoy the content that I, that I do, please consider subscribing as I would really appreciate it. And it'll help the channel grow considering I'm only at like, what, 100 subscribers at this point? Maybe a teensy bit more? I don't know when the pizza tire is going up. Uh, with this in mind, uh, thank you for tuning in, folks. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going, most likely going to be completing the rest of World 2 then move on to world three uh until then have a good one folks Bye -bye.